Bikini Bobby Chef. He is featured on the cover this month of hashtag West Virginia Art and Entertainment Paper. And I met with him over at his work. He works over at Fujiyama in Beckley. West Virginia, which is in Raleigh County. So Ricky Bobby Chef has 1.4 million followers on TikTok, and then he has a few hundred thousand followers on YouTube. He also has about 30,000 followers on his Instagram account. And what I find so fascinating with this man is that he came here from Indonesia in about 2003, and he um, has a degree in engineering, and he is now a Japanese hibachi chef since 2005 and he lives in West Virginia, he loves the state, and he loves um, making people happy. That's his big mission in life. <laughs> so what makes Ricky Bobby so interesting is that he brings so much joy to his customers when he cooks for them at the hibachi grill. He wears a GoPro camera on his chest and he'll, he'll push the food out in a cart. And of course, he asks them for their permission first. Uh, who's going to do it today? Huh? We're 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 family. Family. Congratulations. Yeah. I want to retire too today, actually. One interesting thing with Ricky Bobby Chef is um, his biggest challenge. And his biggest challenge every day is just, you know, having that like really good creative content. He's working 12 hour days at the restaurant and it's just, you know, like he wants to have different stuff. And I think that's something that we can all relate with, just like the, the challenges of being really relevant on social media. One really fun story that Ricky Bobby shared with me was um, a child had come to see him from Ohio. He had his parents drive him four and a half hours so that he could meet Ricky Bobby Chef and would cook for him for on the hibachi grill. And he almost cried. He said this happened last weekend and Ricky Bobby said he was so touched by the child who wanted to come see him. He almost cried. And if you want to go to Fujiyama and see him, maybe call ahead. Um, on the weekends, he gets really busy and there's a lot of requests to see him. Every month, uh, we're featuring a different influencer. If you know of a West Virginia influencer who's making like really positive impacts, please let me know. I would love to interview them. Our column again, it's called um, Under the Influence. And um, so far I've interviewed Rodney Norman and then we've just um, interviewed Ricky Bobby Chef. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel at hashtag WV. And I look forward to interviewing more people who are making a really positive impact in